So hello Hornby fans, I'm Mike, uh, and in this video I'm going to be attempting my first ever model railway layout. Obviously many of you know that currently the UK is in a lockdown, uh, the third lockdown we've had in the past 12 months. So a lot of us are spending a lot more time at home and um, in previous lockdowns and in this one that we're in now, you've been sort of sharing your layouts. So I thought, I've, I've worked for Hornby for three years just over, um, I, I, I should probably give it a go. Um, I've seen lots of yours, intimidating as they are, because they are very, very good to say the least. Uh, I thought maybe you'd like to see someone having a go um, at their first ever model railway layout. So in front of me, I've got a sort of smorgasbord of different Hornby products. I've got, you know, power tracks, uh, standard tracks, um, got some trees, uh, got some people, some accessory packs, uh, some lichen, some scatter materials, some ballast humble paints, uh, PVA glue, um, and of course my, my baseboard. Um, I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Uh, I'm going to keep it quite simple. It's, it's going to be able to have power in it. That's why I've got my power tracks, but I'm not going to focus on that for this layout. It's just going to be about the look and the feel. You know, I'm not going to give it levels or anything like that. Uh, keep it quite simple um, because you know, I don't want to trip myself up too much. And at the end, you know, if there are any tips and tricks that you want to give me, please do comment below. Um, I'm more than happy to listen to them. And who knows, maybe I can go on something a little bit bigger and better with, with some of the tips and, and tricks that, that you give me. Um, so first up, I guess the, the best thing to do is to show you the different things that I'm going to be using for this layout. So there you go, that's the things that I've got in front of me. I may or may not use all of them. For example, I don't think I'll probably be using all or a lot of the, the, the scatter materials and things like that, um, just because of the size of the layout. But I just wanted to have enough just in case. Um, so I guess the first thing that I'll do is I'll plan out and draw down um, and lay out my track so that I get an idea of, of what I need to do um, and where I need to, you know, PVA, where I'm going to be putting my track, etc. Uh, I have had a little think about it. I've had a look at some of your images at home of your layouts, um, and I think I'm just gonna keep it quite simple with a straight, uh, two straight pieces of track uh, with a, um, got a station, so I'll pop a station on there, uh, and then maybe have a, a little road um, to go with the level crossing, uh, and then obviously somewhere to put the uh, 00 diecast Volkswagen. Um, and of course, then at the end, get to see the locos um, on the finished piece. Uh, so I guess, as dubious and as nervous as I am, we should uh, probably get started by drawing out um, and laying down my track and where I want everything. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is obviously lay down my track. So I've got two power tracks and Shorter and longer strength here. I've got my pencil there. we want uh, to be able to get our loco through the station itself so let's have a check make sure our loco clears the station because we don't want to obviously 
and he crashes into the station. Hornby railer, re-railer, which is great. So I can pop that down there. And we can see that's perfectly fine. Just there. Look at that. next step will be to um, lay the track. Now I know that's kind of a contentious issue. Some people lay the track after the ballast, some people lay it uh, before. Um, so I assume that if you lay it before, you'll pop it down as it is now, PVA, then pour your ballast on, um, and then I assume once it's dried, you'll have to clear the, the tracks themselves so that you can actually run the locomotive on it. Um, but for me, I'm going to follow kind of what we did in the um, build your model layout tutorial, which is to um, lay the ballast first and then put the track on. Um, if you can tell me at home why it's particularly better to do one or the other, that'd be great because then I can get a bit of an understanding why. Um, and yeah. Um, let's get on to setting up to, to, to get ballasting, which starts with PVA glue um, and getting that on our, on our ballast area. So I've got a pot for our PVA, um, our glue. Uh, I've got a tub here of, um, this is Hornby Scale Scenic Brass Glue, um, which I'm going to use along with um, a 50-50 mix of water and glue which I'll mix together here. And then I've got um, ballast here of um, rock um, for, the, for the main track. And then this may be completely wrong, but I'm gonna try and put some limestone ballast around the station just to give that a different feel as well. Um, so first off, I'm gonna do the ballast on the track. I've got my brush that I can brush together. So let's, let's crack on. Um, so let's, it's not a very big layout, so I don't need too much of the uh, the glue. Um, so I won't be using anywhere near much of this. Pretty happy with that for now. Um, I'm just gonna leave that to dry uh, and then we'll come back, we'll tip all of this off, get off and rid of any excess, um, clear up any ballast that we've got left over uh, and then we'll make any touch-ups that we need to anywhere that's, um, that needs a little bit extra. But for now, I'm just gonna leave that to dry, so. Okay, so we've left it to dry for a little bit. What I've done already is I've tipped it up and got rid of some of the excess ballast here, which, um, which you can clear up over to the side, collect it in the uh, pack, and uh, then you can reuse that again. Um, then what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna, as you can see, there's some little bits here where the ballast hasn't stuck down, so I'm gonna go over that with some PVA, little blobs.
gonna tempt fate a little bit because now I'm gonna try and paint. The roads just in here again I think I might be tempting fate a little bit by doing just the roads just that little bit there and that little bit there um, how I'm going to do that I've got a little cap there I have humble uh, pot of paint here two four three is the color um, so if you just pop that open So I'm going to leave that to dry again now. Uh, so I've got my road in, got my ballast and my limestone ballast there for the station. Uh, and then after I've left that as dry, we can come back and we can do the scenic materials on the fields, um, which I think will, you know, really start to bring it alive. But I think already that's looking quite good. Hmm. So there we go, that was the end of the first sort of session, uh, laying the ballast uh, on the track and the station and then just sneaking in the road as well. Uh, I thought it went quite well, uh, I suppose now I've got to wait for it to dry, I'm going to leave it to dry overnight uh, and we'll find out tomorrow morning how it looks when I tap off the excess and we see how it looks then. But I, I, I quite enjoyed that, I think it's quite therapeutic just painting away and, and you know, focusing on something like that. So um, yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow morning when I'll get another look at it and then I'll start on the fields and do some of the scenic. So here we go, on to day two, I guess. <laughs>